today I'll show you how to do a quick architectural shadow study for your site analysis. The fun part is that we'll do everything inside AutoCAD and with the help of some free softwares. Are you ready? So let's start here with a blank drawing. Now, does this mean we're going to start drawing from scratch? No, not at all. Let's use this useful website called CatMapper to get some of our drawings and models. So if you have an account, click sign in and if you don't, simply create a free account. Let's select AutoCAD here because we're focusing this video on AutoCAD users. So make sure the following settings are checked and type your specific address. You can now zoom in or out in your area in your site area and make sure you are covering some of the buildings and information around your site and click create file. We're gonna see that CAD mapper is creating your file now, your AutoCAD file. As you can see, you don't have to start from scratch creating your model if you have some of these useful websites and tools. We can also go to the 2D view to kind of see what we got so far. And if you like what you see, simply click download to start getting this model. Let's open it up. Let's unzip this file. And let's open this file to see what we got so far. Let's double click on your mouse wheel to zoom extent. And this is what we got so far. Great. Now let's hold shift on your keyboard and your middle mouse wheel to rotate the view like so. To go even further, let's click on the 2D view and change it to shade it so we can see things better. These are the buildings that we have around our site so far. So this is really good. We're not starting from scratch here. And that's the main goal to get this done as quick as possible. So to start working on this site or model, let's change here to top view and what we're gonna do here is kind of examine the objects that we have and this is for instance the topography you can see it on your quick property palette so the first thing we're gonna do is to use the units command and change to architectural because this is an architectural site uh, model or site project. So here on the precision, it's all up to you, but I'll pick a half inch. And here in the insertion scale, actually doesn't really matter because we're not inserting anything here. This is a basic shadow study. So don't even need to worry about this, but I'll change it to inches and just make sure the architectural setting is choose and click OK. Once you do that, we have the right units for this specific project. What we're going to do next is go to Google here and let's use the first free software, which is Google Earth Pro. And basically this is free to download. So if you don't have it, go ahead and download it to your computer and the link for this one would be the first one over here go to your specific computer specs 
if you have let's say a desktop go here and then click the download earth pro on desktop make sure to follow and accept and you can see that the software is downloading here I already have it installed on my computer so I'm just gonna open it so once you have the Google Earth Pro let's type in the address that you want to create your shadow study from and in my case is this location so let's zoom in a little bit so we can see things better and this is my site kind of getting familiar with the buildings around it so let me clean this up a little bit let's um, hide the streets or roads because it's not needed for this shadow analysis so what we're gonna do here is take a screenshot or an image of this site by following these steps and click your desired resolution so this one works for me and I'll click save image I'll then rename it and save it once we do that we're gonna use this image from Google Earth of our site to insert it inside AutoCAD so let's click and drag it over here on model space and the scale right now doesn't really matter so just accept the settings here and once we do that let's now align this image to the site by using the align command so select your image and we're gonna pick two similar points the first one is this one this corner over here with this other one so I'll click here and I'll match it with this other point over here and then my second pair would be mm, this one over here let's make sure it's aligned so click would match with this other point click once we do that let's follow the instructions and to continue let's press enter or the spacebar and let's scale the object yes and as you can see our image of the site is now scaled and rotated automatically let's send it to the back using the draw order command and let's select this image and you can see now is everything looks nice and aligned let's change it the opacity of the image to see things better so let's go back to Google Earth and let's try to get a approximated dimension for the overall site so let's use this ruler tool over here on the ribbon and let's pick two points on our site so I'll click here and all the way over here as you can see it is approximately 392 feet we could even change the units for this dimension but we are good with feet so let's go back to AutoCAD and let me see the dimension for this site right now so it is wrong so let's select everything using Control a on your keyboard and use the scale command by using the shortcuts s c and press enter i'll click my base point over here and then type r for reference and press enter the base point would be the same over here so click 
and I want this point over here click to be a distance from so I'll press shift on my keyboard and select from so from my base point which is here click I want on the following direction oops let me change my snap settings so the direction shows correctly let me uncheck the nearest option and now if we kind of moved on the direction it looks correct so let's type the distance that we got from Google Earth and press enter let's double check this if we select the dimension and take a look at the quick property yeah it is around 392 feet however the dimension shows different because it is a civil dimension so let's get rid of the dimension that we don't need anymore and we got this site correctly now with the approximate dimensions and ready for our shadow study next to make things clear let's change the building layer to red so we can differentiate them from the rest and as we can see we have some of our adjacent buildings missing like this one and this other one so i'm gonna quickly draw it using the polyline command so i'll type pl for the shortcut and press enter i'll click here and start drawing this small building around like so again this doesn't need to be perfect for our shadow study but the heights of the buildings are the most important so let's use the same procedure using the polyline to draw this other building over here and the other buildings around once we have our adjacent buildings which are the most important for this shadow calculation let's use the match property command by using the ma shortcut and press enter and let's match the layer for our new buildings that we just draw like so I forgot to match these other buildings over here so I'll use match properties again okay so now let's change the view by holding the shift keyboard and your middle mouse wheel let's change the view to shade it and let's kind of zoom in a little bit and let's get the heights for these buildings on google earth so let's go and let me show you one of the techniques i use to get building heights from google earth you can see that it is around 67 feet height So let's now hover over here at the top of the building and you can see that it is around 126 feet. So let's grab a calculator now 
to kind of do this simple math. So what we got is that this building is approximately 59 feet tall. So let's use in AutoCAD the extrude command, select this polyline and press enter, move up and type in the 59 feet for the height and press enter. So now we need to do the same procedure with the other polylines to create the next building. So this one is not, we're not able to see this one. So let's select this image and click show image to kind of hide it. And let's see if we can see the polyline. No. So let's use the freeze command to freeze this terrain. We can now see this tiny building. So let's go back to Google Earth and let me show you another technique to get building heights. So let me locate myself first. And what we're going to use is this ruler. So click on it and pick 3D path. Once you do that, let's click once over here and finally over here. As you can see, this building height is approximately 23.5 feet. So let's go back to AutoCAD. And let's use the extrude command again to change the height of this building. All right. Now let's apply the same procedure to finish all of the building's height around our site. Now let's use the match properties to match the layer property of the building. So we can have all of the buildings in red. Let's now check the heights of the other buildings to see if they are actually accurate. For, for instance, this building over here. So let's go to Google Earth really quick and so let me do the math really quick and we see that this building is approximately 48 feet tall. So let me check here inside AutoCAD. This is a good practice to always check what you got and we can see that the height is wrong. So let me see, this is a mesh. So let's use the extrude command. Let me see if it works. So I'm going to select this and press enter. Oh no, it says one object removed from selection set and nothing selected. So for this special mesh, we're going to use the following AutoCAD command. Time to meet the winner for this week AutoCAD consultation. So I'm going to go to my last video which is this one over here. So all you had to do to participate was answer the question using the 
hashtag from the video all right so i'm gonna click share and copy gonna paste the link over here and the filter for this for this giveaway would be AutoCAD tips so good luck for everybody and let's pick a winner and the winner for this week's AutoCAD consultation is Kel Mart. Thank you, Kel, for participating. And don't forget to contact me within the next two weeks to get your AutoCAD consultation. And remember, if you want to participate in the next giveaway for an AutoCAD consultation, simply answer this question using the following hashtag.